Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. We're going to look at this video that was done by a small channel called uh, Private Trucker Showers. Let's get it right here. Bam, let's show them. Is it Private Trucker Showers? <sighs> this is a, a serious reminder of why I always say, you know, we must we must take pride in our hygiene we must take pride in taking care of ourselves because a lot of the times we don't really know what the rest of the public perceives us as they don't you don't know what they think of you and i like this video by private trucker showers because it shows you this is what they think of you. So if you're wondering why you're going to a mechanic shop and you get a weird look, you, you're going into these shippers. If you're going to these um, places uh, in the truck stop, you wonder why they're short with you. They're angry with you because six, seven truckers before you came in with a bad attitude, smelling horribly. And what it does is after a while, it, it really gets down into what they think of you and for real this is what most of the population really feels about you as a truck driver take a listen we'll stop periodically through it shout out to private trucker showers private trucker showers please do more videos and um let me know if you want to come on the show but i just want to check this out and also give him a shout out and put a link below for you to follow his page let's hear what they got to say about us all right i have a question for you okay <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. okay go ahead right. what do you think about the smell of truck drivers oh my god <laughs> they are disgusting <laughs> What do you think about the smell of truck drivers? <laughs> it depends on the truck driver. It really does. What do you think about the smell of some truck drivers? See that? Now, they're being honest, and I do not want to... I'm not knocking these people at all. I'm really going to speak to the people with what we have control over. And that's why I discuss hygiene a few times. If, if you're, if you're being ran to the point where you're stinking or usually you smelling like that is not a sign of how hard you're being run. It's a sign of depression. Now these people, they don't have a reason to know or care about how hard your job is. Um, they don't need to they don't know about the problems we have in our families they don't know about the 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 destroyed marriages they don't know about the infidelity they don't know about the money not adding up they don't know about not seeing your children they don't know about they don't know what puts you in a state where you just don't care anymore but usually when you see or hear a truck driver smelling a certain way it is because usually of depression that's a sign of depression. When you look at a trucker's windshield and you see a bunch of stuff up there, are they open the door and stuff fall out? They're past the point of caring. And there's re to be honest with you, it's really a cry out for help. <laughs> All I can say, I keep plenty of effort. <laughs> oh, man. Now... <laughs> I ain't never in all my life experienced the smell of some of these guys come through here like that. Can't be defined by words. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the smell of some truck drivers? Some of them smell like rotten ass. They're now that's coming from an actual truck driver, and he's telling the truth. Some of y'all smell like boiled over Reese's and just junk you smell like you smell like decay you smell like weeks of not caring and the reason why i'm trying to put a fine point on this is because a lot of that has to do with depression companies playing with your money they're running you in a certain way variable sleep schedule they have problems at home their weight's getting out of whack and they don't know how to stop it and a lot of it is a sign of desperation a lot of it's a sign of you know they just don't care anymore. And then you have the other people who are just flat out lazy. And of course, there's an element of that. But like I say, 
If you're wondering why you're being treated in a certain way, you're wondering why there's signs up saying they don't want the truck there. You're wondering why, you know, you can't seem to go to a decent establishment because there's laws and zoning to keep you from there. This is the thought process of the public about you. And it may have nothing to do with you. It may be the fact that people been coming to these establishments for years smelling like junk, smelling like crap. And now you have the stigma on you just by having the CDL, just by being in the truck. So when you walk up, they're already fixing their nose. They're already putting themselves in a position to be mad at you. They're already put in a position of get out of here. They're already there before you even get there. That's why it's, it's incredibly important that you are professional, that you are, that you are, um, you come up and have good customer service that you are taking care of yourself, that you are, you know, you know, I start in the past three years, I start wearing the coveralls and everything like that. And, and the flannels and stuff like that, try to present myself a little, a little bit better than just walking out there and, uh, basketball shorts and stuff like that. But, you know, the, really the stigma is so deep into the American culture. You can't get away from it. Balls. They'll get out the truck. They're scratching their crotch. They're trying to hand you papers with the very same hand. Some of them haven't showered in days. It'd be so bad. Oh my. That's what they think of you. So I really think it's funny how you're seeing this um, young lady here discuss what basically what y'all do when y'all pull up and then y'all turn around and come to my life and say you're a high value man there is no trucker in the eyes of the society that's a high value man you are trash i'm not saying that listen to how they're talking about you as a whole now the thing is you can't fight it because there's dudes who are walking up smelling like that there's nothing you can do you know, when other people do that, it reflects on everybody. And you get people who you just get to this point where they're just like, oh, truckers are disgusting. <laughs> right. So it's uh, summertime. You get uh, a little bit of must. And then uh, during the winter, it's mostly just stale cigarettes. Some people that come in like looking nasty, you smell. And then other people that come in looking together, smell good. <laughs> Most truck drivers are horrible. Now, what would you say the percentage of the ones that smell good versus the ones that smell bad? There's more people, there's more truck drivers that smell good. She's trying, uh, she's trying to be nice, but you know, like I said, man, th th we have no one to blame but ourselves. I don't think any of them are wrong for saying this. I don't think it, because the truth is they're saying it. Everyone thinks it. Everyone thinks it. When you start getting in the position to start, uh, if you're a younger man, you start dating, you'll hear people say it. And they'll think, oh, or if you get them to their your truck and they get in, they'll, and if it's nice, they'll be, they'll be surprised. Oh, I didn't know it was this nice in here. That's because they thought it would be, you know, terrible in there. That's the truth. And it, 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 some things that need to be fixed are just normal organize, organization skills. You know, some of my trucks before that were a little bit more messy. It was normal organization skills like keeping a dedicated uh, trash can or trash bag in front of your passenger seat. Put go to go to Walmart, get you a uh, trash, a trash can, put a trash bag in it. Get I like to get a tall one that comes up to the dashboard. I sit it in front of the passenger seat, slide the passenger seat up and kind of pin it to the dashboard. And, you know, I make a point to make sure all my trash goes into that when it gets to a certain height or every other day that I go to the fuel, I tie it up throw it out, put a new one in there. That simply will keep your floor clean of garbage and will keep your floor clean of a lot of trash and everything like that. Another thing I would do is I would go to Walmart or Target and they have these little like fabric baskets. It can be any kind of basket or any kind of tote, but it'd be a basket about the size of the actual seat, passenger seat. I will put it on there and I will use that as a catch-all 
So if I need to put something over there, anything I need to do for the truck, so I don't just have stuff just rolling around the truck while I'm driving, I'll put a, you know, a 20 ounce soda there or just a catch all. It sounds exactly like what it is. It catches all. And that way you don't just have random stuff all over it, have chargers in there, stuff like that. Another thing I use is a seat, a seat caddy or a seat buddy. They're called different things. Whereas this thing that goes on the back of the passenger seat and you, it has pockets and you can put different pins in there. That way you don't have stuff all over your dashboard pins, your, uh, um, your, uh, uh, your article book for your actual truck, your, uh, permit book, um, your clipboard, uh, so a couple of tools, like I said, pins, paper towels, uh, cleaning supplies. You know, I got wipes in one pocket. I got dashboard wipes in one pocket. I have, you know, different things, uh, disinfected wipes, things like that, that all go on this caddy and it'll keep everything. What I just explained to you is how you keep your driver's when you're driving that passenger seat, everything is in arm's reach and you'll have everything you need. So he said, you say you're driving and the guy says, Hey, um, give me your permit book. It's an arm reach. Bam. There goes a the permit book. Something spills. Bam. Wipes is right there. I can handle it. You understand that way. You don't just have a lot of random stuff just everywhere. And you get in the truck and it's just stuff everywhere. You can't find nothing. That's a problem. Another thing, I, another thing my old lady is real adamant about is take your shoes off before you go to the back of your truck. Another thing I always have in a truck is a bucket because if they're running you to the, to the point where you cannot get into to a shower, you have a bucket. Make sure you have a coffee kettle. You can go anywhere and get a hot water kettle. They're in all the truck stops. They're in all the Walmarts. They're in all the Targets. They plug in through the cigarette lighter but most trucks have an actual inverter where you'll have house sockets. They plug in through the cigarette lighter and you can heat up water for coffee, but you can also use that water to pour into your, uh, your bucket, get you, a, um, get you some body wash and you can wash your, your unmentionable. So you don't have that smell. The biggest key to smell that they're not really discussing on here is laundry. You have to do your laundry that a lot of that smell. Some people wash and put on dirty clothes. When you get in your truck, if your truck smell, it's because of two things, cigarettes and laundry. If you are a smoker, I would suggest switching to vape if you cannot quit altogether because the vape doesn't have a smell. It doesn't leave a smell in your, in your truck like cigarettes do. Another thing that would smell too is dental hygiene. You need to brush your teeth every day. You need to have a travel toothbrush you can put it in your caddy and have travel to pace, right? And you have you a, 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 a bottle of water. And every day you wake up, you need to come to the front, sit down. You need to get your toothbrush. You need to brush your teeth, use the water, spit it out the side of the truck. That way you keep your teeth intact. Another thing is to stay away from sodas and candy because that rots your teeth out. And a lot of y'all have insurance, but don't take the time to stop and go get your teeth fixed. And if you have a wisdom tooth or a rotten tooth in your mouth, when you open your mouth, you smell like dead flesh because that is what a rotten tooth is, dead flesh. So a lot of this is, is education. Like I said, they pull truckers from the craziest places in the country, backwood. They're either uh, hood, ex-convicts, hillbillies, different things that these different places are people coming from crazy circumstances. They throw them out there and people are expecting them to just be functional. These are things you need to hear. Organize your truck. Make sure you're taking care of yourself because when you pull up, you don't want to be put in that category. You're already in that category, but you want to walk up and, you know, be a happy exception. You know, you can go to bed. If you're not big into colognes, go to bed, buy the body works. They got men cologne in there. You go in there. They got the body wash. They got the, um, they got the body wash. They got the lotion that matches the scent. They got the, um, the actual cologne. They have the facial stuff for you to take care of your skin. They have all that in one little carry bag. You go in there, boop, get it. Make sure oh, you put it over the bucket. Use that body wash from bed, bath and body works. Use the freaking lotion. You wake up the next day, throw the body spray on, walk up, come up smelling good, white teeth, you know, take care of yourself. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking because this, on one hand, you may say this is cruel, but this is true. That's why I don't fault none of them.
They wouldn't have this narrative if we weren't stinking. And you know it's true because you stand in the truck stop and you smell people. They're not making this up. This isn't fake. This is very accurate. So, I mean, I just want us to do better, man. Just, I just want us to do better. That's it. I appreciate you for coming here. Thank you very much for checking out the Trucker Brown channel. I'm also going to be doing more lives on Rumble, TB Uncut. So go to rumble.com, get the app. It's a place where people can speak freely and say what you want to say without being demonetized. Go over there and check that out follow immediately if you're new to this channel hit the sub button because we have awesome conversations over here there's a live every friday at one one o'clock in the afternoon and i think you'll enjoy it shout out to all the new people in the patreon the link will be uh, be under if you want to support this channel a channel that speaks to truckers and try to give them a better lifestyle a better something to think about make sure you follow the patreon i appreciate you and i'm out Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.